Here on Get Up DC, we're trying to answer questions that we all have but might not know the answer to. We call this the why. Now, today we examine DC, not the city, but the shape of our city. So, our Evan Kozlov actually tried to figure out why it looks so weird. So, right now, most of us have gotten pretty used to the shape of DC, but have you ever stopped and really looked at it, wondering why it looks the way it does? I mean, it's this perfect diamond, and then um, um, um. it looks like Cookie Monster took a bite out of it. So that brings us to our question for today. Why does DC look like someone took a bite out of it? First off, let me tell you, most of us get this way wrong, including me. We think, you know, it's just because that's the way the Potomac River runs, and that's it. But there's actually more to it. In fact, look at what the city originally looked like back in 1790. Maryland dished out the green area, and Virginia dished out the pink area. And that was that for about 50 years. Then the change happened, and it was all based on two things, slavery and the economy. Let's start with the economy. For some crazy reason, federal buildings were only allowed to be built on the DC side of the river. Support Virginia over there felt left out, and they lagged behind economically. Meanwhile, the other factor here was sadly racism and slavery. You see, east of the river, the city was full of abolitionists who wanted to end slavery over in the district. But right across the Potomac, this thriving slave trade. So obviously, they were at odds from the very beginning. So because of these differences on both slavery and the economy, Alexandrians begged their government for years to try and leave DC. In 1846, they got their answer. Congress passed this bill saying, yeah, sure, you could go to Virginia, but first you need to pass a referendum. And so they voted, and here are the results. By vote of 869 to 251, they decided to get out of DC and go to Virginia. And by 1847, that weird DC shape we all know and love was born. All that to answer the question, why does DC look like someone um, 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 took a bite out of it? All right, so right now I'm here at the Boston Metro in Arlington. If this was 1840 or any time up to 1846, we would be in DC right now. In fact, I just tweeted out this photo. Uh, you can go check it out at, at E. Kozlov. It shows the original boundaries there. Um, look, we still want your help in getting more why questions. So go ahead and get in touch with me. You can find me on Twitter at E. Kozlov, on Facebook at Evan Kozlov Reporting, or you can just shoot me an email at E. Kozlov at WUSA9. Uh, but that right there is the latest why, and we're gonna answer more why questions next week. Send it back to you guys. All right, thanks, Evan. Everybody always wonders why I give Virginia such a hard time, because I hold a grudge. 200 years is nothing in my family. We hold grudges way longer than that. Thanks, Evan. Make sure you send them all your why questions, ecoslaw at WSA9.com.